Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing my Project Pan Update 1 and if you watch my January favorites, I am in the same outfit. It is the same day. My schedule is crazy this year, so I did film both these videos on the same day and I'm sorry, but I did want to be consistent on when I do my Project Pan updates and I did the original one on a Saturday. So I'm gonna continue every two weeks doing, um, filming them on Saturday and then uploading them that next Thursday. Um, so yeah, just so you know, I'm trying to be consistent when, when, with when I film them and um, also when I upload them, I suppose, because they'll be every two weeks on a Thursday. The other Thursdays will be my makeup inventory, um, just to show you why I'm doing a project pan. If you haven't seen the introduction video, I can link it down below. Um, if you don't know what a project pan is, basically um, mine is I want to use up products, not just hit pan, I want to use them completely up. A lot of people have time limits, some people have product numbers. I have kind of a weird way of doing it instead of doing a project 20 pan or project big no a number bigger than 10 pan i decided to do a project 10 pan um it ended up being about 12 to 13 products but you know i tried um and really focus on those products and then when i use one of those up switch out another product um and this is going to continue until I move in May, June area. Um, I don't know the day when we're moving. I am graduating and my husband, my husband and I are graduating in May. I think I've told you this like a billion times and we're not staying in our school town. So depending on where we move, when we move, that's kind of when this project is going to stop. And then I might start a new one in the summertime, but just kind of give myself a little bit of break while I move. Um, so yeah, that's, I'm doing a time limit, but I don't know when that time limit is exactly. And that's why I decided to do 10-ish products, because um, I didn't want to do 20 products and then feel like, oh my gosh, I need to use all 20, you know, on my face, and then it, you know, just doesn't work out. So I decided to do 10 products, and then when I use up a product, switch it out. I thought that would be work best for me, and that's the, you need to make sure you do what's best for you. So we're just going to get started. The first one is an exciting product and I saved this for last last time because I didn't know where I was. Um, and so I kind of put a line where I thought I was and I thought I was right up here. Um, and then I don't think I've used this much in two weeks. I've been trying to push it down each like day that I use it and it's actually come to here. So I'm really curious to see how much progress I make next time because this is where I thought I was. So I'm very excited that I'm all the way down here. I've had this product for a long time and so I need to use it up. The next two products, I got a lotion in my January Birchbox and that made me really nervous because I had um, a lotion in this one. But then I remembered it's winter time. I get really dry and so to prevent that, I lather myself with lotion every time I take a shower. I also take really, really hot showers, like scalding hot, like my skin is red when I get out of the shower. It's not a good thing, but I can't not take hot showers like I've tried. Even in the summertime when it's like 100, it feels like 110 outside, I still take burning hot showers. So lotion and I are best friends all year, but especially during the winter. Um, the first, there was a combination product and it is the Summer Hill Scented Body Lotion and Hand Therapy. And so this is where I started on the body lotion. And then this is where I'm at. You can definitely see my progress. Um, this won't take very long to use up. It'll probably be used up by the next update. Um, I have a lot of lotions, so I don't know if I'm gonna add in another lotion or just do a totally different product um but i really wanted to get this one used up because i've had it for such a long time um and i've just been using these really on my legs because i wanted to use my other lotion that i got in my birch box so yes this one the hand therapy i have to squeeze to get out and so i don't know if it was completely like full up to here but that's where i could get the product and I think I'm going to cut this open next time I use it and see actually how much product is in there because this packaging is really like tough and hard to um, fold down but it looks like I'm all the way down here as far as I can push out it's really hard to get any product out of this so I'm going to cut it and see how much I have hopefully next update next two weeks I can finish these the next thing is a lipstick and I was really afraid I wasn't going to have much progress on it just because I 
always forget to use this lipstick and I'm trying to use that lip gloss not only the one in my project pan but just in general um, so I keep a lip gloss lip balm um, on my desk at home and so I only use this really when I'm out um, and then again with my schedule I'm super busy I don't remember to put this on but luckily the tip is gone and this is how much I have left um, on my blog there will be before and after pictures but on here I'm just going to show you the marks so there used to be a big tip on it and it made it go all the way up to here just looks like a regular it looks like a regular lipstick but you can definitely tell I've used it so I've made some decent progress considering lipstick is so so hard for me to use up and I don't necessarily love this color um, I'll give you a swatch of it um, I like that it's pretty sheer so you can build it up but it's just it's just not my favorite color it's not a color for me so I want to use it up the next product is also a lip product and is the e.l.f. Glitter Gloss in Bronze Bling. It just looks like this. This is where I started. I hadn't used very much. And then this is where I am. As you can tell, it's a really sticky gloss. I decided to be a smart person, take out the stopper, which made it even like worse. Um, you should definitely wait if you're gonna take out a stopper until you're almost done. Um, I never taken out a stopper before, so I wanted to try it on a few products. And I definitely should have waited because it makes it so much messier, um, especially on products like this. But um, I do like this gloss. I like the color and sometimes it's really smooth and other times I feel like I get big chunks of glitter. So it's really a hit and miss. Um, but I kind of just build the two. And so I've made decent progress. Like I said, there will be one or two other lip glosses in my January empties. So I'm really proud of the progress I've made considering I've also been working on those. The next thing is something that there's not a ton, a ton of product progress that you can see um but this is my like eyeshadow palette i'm working on as well as a lip products um these are the lip products i have on today i have a little bit of the elf glare gloss on top but in general this is what i have on my lips i believe i hit pan since last time um i've talked to you and then this has always had a pan in it and then this one's getting really close. But these are just like gorgeous lip products. Um, and so I just use them in the morning when I'm getting ready. Or if I happen to like come in my room randomly during the day. Um, and I want a lip product I guess. Um, and then these are the eyeshadows. They're gorgeous. I use these two for my eyebrows along with another shade. And then I use this as an all over lid color. This is a highlight, and then sometimes I'll put this in the outer V. Um, it really depends. It depends on how much time I have in the morning. Um, that's why there's not a ton more progress on this, because some mornings I'm running late, and it just doesn't work out to do, like, a full, you know, nice eye look. So the next thing is a lip product. It is the Coconut Lip Butter from The Body Shop, and you might not see much progress, um, but, like, right there I've used a lot, and on this side... Um, I've been just going around and then a few days ago I was like I want to use up one side so that's what I'm going to try and do for next time so you can really see the progress um, but the like I said on my blog post there'll be before and after pictures and you'll definitely be able to tell the progress on this one um, I just use it every night before I go to bed and a lot of times in the morning before I do my makeup the next thing is something that I'm hoping will be done by next update it is the elf shimmer palette it looks like this um, this white one I'm pretty sure was gone um, last time, but these three I've made considerable amounts of progress. I use these as a cream eyeshadow as well as a highlight, like that highlight right there. Um, it's kind of a mixture of these two colors, like the brown one and peach one, and then there's a pink one. I don't know if you can see the colors very well. There we are. So, um, I'm just going to continue working them around until they have about as much left as the white. You can see the white, um, this one right here, still has a little bit of product, but there's no way I'm going to get it. And this is only $3, but I definitely want to use it up. And I do like the highlighting effect it gives. So i kind of been using this as a cream shadow and a highlight, and it's worked really well. And I really like this. I don't know if I repurchase it because I like other cream shadows better, and I'm finding some other highlighters I like better. But this is a great product if you want kind of a multi-purpose product. The next one is another palette. I feel like I put a lot of palettes in here for some reason instead of just like a single color, but that works really well for me because um, then it also helps me not get so bored. So the next one is the e.l.f. Complete Coverage Concealer Palette in light. 
it looks like this. Um, I'm pretty sure the only color that had pan on it was this light color right here. And now both of these have hit pan. Um, and these are not as thick. They're not super thick. So I build them up and kind of mix all the colors just to put them all over my face. Instead of like building up my foundation, I've just put like a kind of a lighter layer on with my foundation and then putting these on over that. The next thing is the other cream eyeshadow that I have. This one I also took out the stopper and it is the blush cream eyeshadow in Azure. I don't know if they sell these anymore. I haven't been able to find it. Again, this is something I think my mom gave me because in high school she really wanted me to wear makeup. She wanted me to wear makeup and kind of get you know, look more polished, I guess. And I was just such a tomboy. And then I got to college and I was like, makeup! And so I have products that she gave me so long ago. And then she still gives me makeup, which I really enjoy. But, um, so I have some older products that I need to use up because then when I got into makeup, I wanted to buy my own products, but I still like getting free products and I don't like throwing away products and I'm in this huge cycle. That's why we're trying not to buy makeup. That's why I'm doing a project pan. Welcome to my life. So, yes. Anyways, back to this. Um, I've had it standing up, but since I took out the stopper, it's kind of stayed on the edges, which is okay with me. So I don't know. Um, so I try to mark it as best as I can. I don't know if you can see through this, like, V. I try to look through it. Um, so it might be a little bit lower than this, um, but I figure with all the product on the side, it probably just evens out to this um, right here. So I've just been using this um, underneath. I'll put a primer on, then I'll put this, just a really light layer of this, and then I'll put the other cream eyeshadows on. Um, and between the two of them, they help my eyeshadow stay all day long. Um, but on their own, they don't work very well as, like, with my... Even with a primer and one of these cream shadows, it just doesn't stay as long. But with both of them, it works wonderfully. And I just put this on before those, the e.l.f. shimmer palette that I showed you earlier. And I have it on today underneath. But you can't, you can't even, I have it on underneath today, but you can't even see that there's blue underneath there. So that's what I've been doing, just kind of using it as an extra primer. Um... And yeah, so I'm going to be using this up very hopefully soon because um, I have lots of cream eyeshadows. And so I'm really excited to be getting to, through these two because they're my older ones. The next product is a face product and is the one that I've seen the least amount of progress. And it is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. Um, I feel like I use this all the time. It's super pigmented. Um, I have it on as a contour and kind of all over my face today. Um, I can't get too crazy with it because I am like clearly super pale. Um, the sun is shining so it makes me look a tad bit paler, but you know. Um, but I really like this stuff. I just feel like I've had it for such a long time. And my mom also gave me a bronzer last April because I thought this was almost done. <laughs> Yeah, bronzers stay, stay around for a long time. I don't have a ton of them, but I just want to use this up so badly. But, you know, I don't want to look like a crazy person. And so I can't use very much of it. The next product is the e.l.f. Brightening Eye Color. And I do have a lot of e.l.f. products. I think I did... I think I talked about it in my introduction video. Um, when I was starting out with makeup, I was a college student. I am a, still a college student, but I didn't have a lot of money, still don't. So I didn't buy a lot of high-end products. I bought a lot of e.l.f. Project products because um, they were cheap. They were a dollar. Um, and you could try out all kinds of different colors and different stuff like that if you kind of didn't know what you wanted. So um, that's why I have a lot of e.l.f. products, and I do want to get through them because I don't want to have so much stuff. Um, even if I like them. And this is one of the palettes I really like, but it's my oldest one. I don't even know if they sell this color combo anymore. Because like, because when I was um, making the blog post for the introduction, I couldn't find this one. Um, they still sell the eye brightening, eye brightening, the brightening eye colors, but not in neutrals, which is what this is. So this is the palette. And if you can see, I've hit pan on this, which is super exciting. And I've used this um, a decent amount. There's been a few days instead of using that palette, um, the other palette, I've just used this on my eyes because it's been really easy just to put a little bit of sparkle. And then this color, even though it's like one of the darker ones, has no pigmentation whatsoever. 
it's like just straight sparkle, which I really like on top of the matte colors because I am not a matte eyeshadow person. I like my matte eyeshadows, but I have to have some shimmer. And so I decided, so that's why I decided to throw this in there because I knew I'd be using shimmer eyeshadow anyways. So I might as well try and use up a palette because all four of these colors are super shimmery. And you can see that there's a little bit more of a dip hopefully in them. The next thing is a blush and it is the 100% pure fruit pigmented blush in strawberry. It looks like this. Um, there's no product left in here, but if you've been watching my videos, if you watch my introduction, you know where the product is. It's in here. Um, I decided to take this out. I don't know why I've been keeping it in the Pyrex container. There's really no reason for it. Um, so I'm just going to keep this out of the Pyrex container. And so when I show it, it, you know, it's not... I can show exactly what it is and don't have to worry about a bunch of product getting everywhere. So there's that. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell much of a difference in this. Hopefully, I've been using it every day. It's super pigmented. You don't need a lot, which is great. But at the same time, it doesn't help if you're on a project pan and you're trying to get, you know, your money's worth and use it. Um, but it still has quite a bit left. Um, it just looks like that. I'm hoping by the end of May, this will be done or by the time we move. Um, this one and the bronzer are two that I'm hoping, hoping, hoping because I've been working on both of those products for such a long time and it's even hard to see progress on both of them just because this is in a Pyrex container and that one just, I don't know, just has a life of its own, I guess, just keeps growing because the bronzer is not going away ever. But that is my last product um, in my project pan. And so if you're doing a project pan, let me know in the comments below because I've been loving watching project pans or like project use it ups or, you know, different um, panning different things like that just to give me some more motivation for the products that I'm trying to use up and be like, okay, there's other people in my boat because um, Yes, it's kind of hard if you watch a lot of hauls or you walk through the makeup aisle and you're like, I want that. And you're like, no, I cannot have that. I need to finish up these products. And so it's really nice watching other people that are, you know, doing the same thing you are. And so, yeah, let me know if you're doing a project pan below or any type of project pan any type of project like that um, because I am definitely trying to get through some of my makeup. I got some for Christmas, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, and then and sometimes in my birch box, I get them because um, that's the only thing that I am really purchasing right now is birch box each month, but I actually paid that for that like in August for a year. So anyways, um, that is really the only thing I'm getting because I have so much of everything else. I really don't need anything if I ever like ran out of you know, face powders, I would definitely get a face powder, um, and stuff like that. So, um, I'm not banning myself, but I am saying only if I need something. And so I'm really trying to hold myself to that. And it's also helpful because like I said, we are moving in May, so it's helpful to save money now. And so, yes. Anyways, this has been a super long video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this gave you some inspiration if you are thinking about doing a project pan or you are doing a project pan. I've rambled on long enough. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you all later. Bye! So I was importing the footage and cleaning up my area while I was where I had filmed and I realized I did not talk about one product. It's a product that I'm trying so hard to use up. It didn't have a ton of progress, but it is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. Um, I was sick for a few days and so I didn't use this, um, but it just looks like this. I've had it for so long and so that's why it's in this project because I don't know if I'm gonna get anything like this again um, and I've just had it for a long time so I wanna make sure I use it up. So yes, if the sun looks a little different, I apologize. If the lighting's a little bit different, that might be why. Um, but I thought I would show you my progress. This was the start. And you can't even see the second line. But and this is where I'm at. So I've made a little bit of progress. Just this, um, oh, you kind of see the mark. I need to get a better Sharpie. But um, this stuff. I think it works pretty well. I've noticed my makeup stay on a little bit longer. I just don't know if it's worth it. Um, I hope you enjoy and this is the end. Okay, bye.